trying to do exactly what the sun does. We have to build big machines, very expensive machines to carry out our research. There's no doubt the job turned out to be more difficult than people thought uh, 20, 25 years ago. Fusion is so important to the future of the world. Three, two, one, shot. The only catch is that we don't have it yet. Three, two, one, push. In our estimation, for the next century, we need fusion. It's a bright, sunny morning in Princeton, New Jersey. Rob Goldston leaves his car in the driveway and rides his bike to work. It's his daily quest for fusion energy, a quest to copy the sun. And what we're trying to do is imitate the fusion process that goes on in the sun, create energy by the same kinds of physics, but within the laboratory. The laboratory is Princeton's plasma physics lab. It's been home to fusion research since Harry Truman was president. Goldston manages experiments run by the 75 scientists here, trying to see if fusion could be an economical alternative source of energy. The quest for fusion energy has been a long and winding road, much like the concrete corridors leading to Princeton University's fusion test reactor. A lot of fusion veterans walk through here. Goldston's 16 years in fusion science is only a fraction of the collective 2,000 fusion research years that Princeton...